Prepare for a pantheon of planeswalkers. <laughs> What's up guys, if you'd like to support our content and pick up this month's amazing proxy rewards, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash it resolves. What is going on everybody and welcome to Emblem Week. That is right, today we are kicking off Emblem Week with an amazing challenge. The idea is simply to get as many emblems as possible. Now this doesn't have to be just for us if we can somehow give them to the opponent. Technically that counts. However, I don't think we'll see a whole lot of that. I think we are going to see a lot of interesting proliferate and things like that, which we're going to kick off with today. But before we uh, jump into that, just a couple notes. First of all, my apologies for this one being a bit late. I had my bachelor party weekend this uh, this past weekend, and so I was out of town. I did not get to pre-record, so it is actually... I'm recording on Monday. I don't know if it's going up Monday or Tuesday, but we're going to get it up on one of those two days, uh, and I cannot wait. This really is going to be a fun one. Second, if you guys do not know what these challenge weeks are, it's really quite simple. We provide a challenge to our Discord community and then ask you guys to build decks with that challenge in mind. You don't have to win. All you have to do is complete a challenge. Uh, and in this case, it's create as many Planeswalker emblems as possible, and that is it. So we've got some amazing deck lists already submitted, and I'm sure a few more on the way. The winner, we're going to pit three people against each other. So we're picking three of the submissions, putting them up against each other. Normally, on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Wednesday and Friday should be fine. I don't know about this one. Uh, and the idea being very simply that whoever gets the most emblems is the winner and they will get a proxy pack filled with five digital altars that we have created normally for our Patreon, exclusive to our Patreon, but we want to get this out for some other people as well. And so that's the way to do it. But without further ado, guys, uh, oh, uh, one last thing. If you do want to submit a deck list, please check out the Discord link down below. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in into today's list. All right, guys, here we are with Death's Ace once again, coming in clutch, always submitting decks, and I really, really appreciate it. This is an interesting one, though. I have not actually tested this list, but it is very, uh, we'll say controlling and rampy, uh, for lack of a better term, and then just filled with an absolute butt ton of Planeswalkers, which is fantastic, because that's what we want. Uh, and the idea, very simply, is just to ramp into them, control the game a little bit with things like Doomscar as needed, uh, and then hopefully ramp, like I said, with Cultivate, Roiling, Regrowth, that kind of stuff. Maybe even get a Vorinclex down. That would be really, really nice because then we can start embleming these things like immediately, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, so we will see. We can also copy some of these things with Lithoform Engine, which is sweet. Uh, as far as the land count goes, it is at 28. So quite a, a large number of lands, uh, but a very, very straightforward list. And we're going to go ahead and jump into game one right now. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And this is a really interesting hand because theoretically we could play Watley on turn four, but is that good enough? I kind of don't think so. Um, I'm going to mulligan this. That might not be great, but we'll see. Uh, this is worse technically, but we're going to try it. Um, <laughs> this is not any better at all, but that's fine. Um, we kind of want some of those rampy elements very, very early. Unfortunately, we didn't get any this time, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, and looks like Sacrifice is the list we are up against. Doomscar is actually a really good pickup. Uh, let's go ahead and foretell that. That's going to be absolutely uh, crucial to us winning this game if we can get this off. We need another white source, of course, but let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, all right. Um, what do we exile? I honestly think it's Lithoform Engine. As good as Lithoform Engine is, I don't think that's the card we need right now. We kind of just want to get some of this stuff down uh, so we can hopefully get somewhere with it. Okay. Um, interesting. So the question becomes, do we want to go ahead and just throw that out there or uh, the Doomscar? I mean, I don't think so. I think what we do is play this first. Um, Mila is really, really good. This card is sick. I love this card. Um, anyway. Also, really quick, Death Ace, thank you so much. I don't know if I thanked you. I don't believe I did when we were going over your deck, but I really appreciate you, uh, as well as a number of other people who always submit lists. It really does mean a lot. It's great to have you guys there. I never have to worry about having too, uh, enough lists uh, throughout this whole process, so I very much appreciate that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this out of here. Um, I'm interesting that they attacked really at all. Um, Okay, let's see. No land. A uh, little sad there. Was really hoping to get a land. I think we just pass. 
Uh, we kind of have to leave this up a little bit. If they do decide to kill Mila, um, then what we'll do is end up most likely doom scarring like right off the bat, uh, which is good. Um, it's perfectly fine. I'm going to force them to use the, uh, the cauldron here. Uh, and then that way, so they can kill this. Wow, they didn't. Why did they not? It's very interesting. Uh, very curious. I don't know why they didn't sacrifice it. Uh, it seems kind of silly. Okay. That didn't seem all that great, if I'm honest. I think they could have done different things there, but that's okay. Uh, they do get to get a card out of our hand, and again, I'm gonna take that Lithoform engine out. Um... Just for the simple fact that, again, I don't think it's what we need to be doing here. Okay, there's the Cultivate. That's very, very good. Let's go ahead and Cultivate. A um, little worried about this, the, the Fin Lurker. Uh, okay, what do we need? We need definitely... Uh, should probably get red, uh, to be honest, just so we've got a red source. Uh, and then potentially just another green. Um, let's go ahead and play that red source now. We get to play the green source. And here, uh, I think we are just going to end up passing. This is a very scary position to be in, but I'm trying to hold off as long as we can until we can Doomscar, sweep the board, and then get ourselves in that really strong position to be able to throw a Planeswalker down and really do some damage. So we'll see. Uh, probably It's probably not going to be a perfect scenario, but worst case scenario, I guess we can play Dove and Bond and gain a little bit of life. We've got a lot of abilities on these Planeswalkers, guys, as always. So this is going to be a really... Uh, interesting week on challenge week in my opinion uh but anyway let's see what they can do i love this little fox guy it's so cute um i mean truthfully they could just attack in with this and deal a butt ton of damage but that's fine okay so they are gonna play the bolus of citadel interesting very interesting um do i want to do this uh no, I don't think I do. Um, they have a lot of life to play with here, so I am a little worried about this because they could just have a Tendrils as an example, um, which is terrible, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, okay, first things first. Um, we're going to attack in. So it's going to deal a little bit of damage here. Um, and I think the play is just going to be to do this. Or I guess alternatively we could do Dovin Bond. This can only get so big. Uh, yeah, let's try this. Let's be, uh, let's be a, little, a little unsafe about this and see what we can do. So we get to gain a couple life here and draw a card. Um, the other option would be just to minimize the attacks here, uh, which would get us closer to the emblem, but I think we really need cards right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, gain a couple life here and do this. And then we'll throw this out here tapped and give us a little bit more we can do. Um, Ajani is not a bad pickup solely for that life gain. Um, Dovin Bond, I have to assume, is gonna just go down. Uh, I, I can't imagine a world where that doesn't happen, um, but they are, I mean, they're going to start Bolas' Cit Citadel-ing uh, and really throw themselves into this and see... Uh, we'll see what happens. If they have a Tendrils in their deck, they will just win. So no amount of life gain that we could have produced would have really solved that problem. Um, I don't even think they need that, though. I think these Cauldron Familiars are going to kind of do it for them. So we'll see. We will see. Um, But you know what? I, I really like the style of this deck. I think that we have a good chance of at least getting a few emblems, especially against like a slower deck or something like that. We can really... Oh, wow. Okay, well, there we go. Um, yep, there it is. All right, so game one, we didn't get any. Let's go ahead and try for game two. All right, guys, here we are for game two, and this is about a, as perfect a hand as we could expect. So this has all of the elements that we need in terms of the early portion of the game, aside from a sweeper. That's the only thing that we're really missing. Uh, but the fact that we've got the cultivate with the roiling regrowth, things like that, that we can help ramp ourselves into the uh, the big spells that we are going to need. It's absolutely fantastic. Getting into the trials is really interesting as well. It is technically a way that we can keep ourselves from losing the game. Uh, which is, I mean, that's that's worth mentioning because this is a very, very strong card. Uh, interesting. Okay, so let's do this. 
Um, let's go ahead and cultivate first. We're gonna get a blue and a can I can I click on you? A red source. There we go. Um, and we'll throw out that blue source. Uh, I think so. This allows us to contingent contentious plans. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. And then we can also just play Huatli at some point here. Um, truthfully, at this point. Uh, getting into the trials on this speaker of the heavens is going to be like super clutch because they really I mean we throw that out there they can't really do that much um, if this is very much a Voltron strategy which it kind of seems to be I mean they they definitely will have other other creatures don't don't get me wrong but uh, as of right now at least there's really not much they're doing um, that's good I mean that's very good but okay so Let's do this. Uh, let's go ahead. We are going to plus this up now. Uh, keep in mind, I do know that we should and will eventually emblem this, but uh, I do think that that's the correct play at the moment. Um, and then I think I'm going to take this play where we get to play Chandra without dealing any damage to ourselves. That might be incorrect. We could have uh, used the plan on this turn to get another counter here, which could have been useful. I don't think it would have been the most amazing thing in the world. Uh, Sword is very good, but again, this is Voltron, guys. Like, we might actually stand a decent chance here. This does nothing uh, to it. It does absolutely nothing. So I'm going to keep plussing this up just to keep that at bay here. Um, and... Okay, yeah, let's do it. Chandra, this does create our first emblem, guys. So let's go ahead and give them an emblem. That is one. That is actually really, really clutch right now. So we're actually doing really well. Um, we could also, and what we should we should probably do, minus three Chandra here. Uh, and we should have done this last turn. Um, but then we can emblem the Gideon as well. Um, okay. Uh interesting okay so that's actually not the end of the world because again we can we can deal with that um we can kill the speaker and then basically mark the the angel interesting they still keep attacking with this because it's not doing anything <laughs> um okay uh very cool okay so let's see let's do this first Yes, let's do this. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't. Oh, man, I'm so stupid. Oh, no. Oh, mistakes have been made. Uh, that's fine. Um, all right, so let's do this because it is the life linker. <clears throat> um, I definitely should have minused. Uh, that was that was silly. Uh, OK, so what do we do next? Um, we can throw Dovin out, or we can throw Hwatli out. Uh, Hwatli really doesn't do a ton at the moment, but... Um, I'm going to minimize the damage done here. That might be okay-ish. Um, all right. And then let's go ahead and proliferate here. Submit three. All right. So that was definitely a misplay on my end. What we should have done is minus four and killed the angel token and then blanked the speaker. That was just a mistake, 100%. Um, so that's okay. I think we, I mean, they're gonna hit us for a lot here, most likely, because they can equip up this sword. Um, yeah, and so the trick is though, do they wanna go for our planeswalkers or do they wanna go for us? With the sword, it very much incentivizes them to go for us, <clears throat> which honestly, I might rather have at this point. So I'm not all that upset about that. Um, this does nothing. And crucially, we blanked the life gainer. Um, that was the really big decision between like these two with the Gideon. This has lifelink, which can put them over the top and start spitting out angels. We obviously do not want that. Uh, and so Gideon is really the shutdown for it. This does not have lifelink. It does have pro green and pro blue, but does not have lifelink, which is very, very important. Uh, I would honestly love like a Vorinclex right now because that would shut this thing down. Uh, not that it really needs to be, but it would really mess them up. It also means like they just don't really do that much. Uh, this isn't a very good attack. Um, 
This does nothing. That does four, but that's nothing. Uh, okay, so that's just a really good draw. <laughs> um, all right, let's do this <clears throat> before they concede because they very well might. What we're gonna do, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, we'll wait on that. Let's go ahead and Doomscar. Just gonna get everything out of there. All right, so now let me very quickly, we do have three right now. Uh, okay, so we do have this. Um, I am gonna plus it, uh, submit zero because we're here for an emblem challenge, guys. We gotta shoot for it, but we are at three right now, which is pretty solid. This Gideon might help us keep ourselves in this game for like a very long time, just knowing that they may not have anything to deal with it. Uh, and we've got a million ways to, to kind of kill whatever we need to kill here. Thankfully, this isn't pro white because <laughs> that's a problem. Um, all right, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure that we're doing things in a somewhat decent order here, because obviously that's a problem. Uh, all right, let's get up to four. Uh, let's prevent all damage this thing can do. Uh, let's get this up so that way, I mean, submit zero. It has pro, so we can't do that. Uh, and then let's Tez, let's get Tezzeret going. Um, should we Roiling Regrowth, I guess, is the, the question here. Um, I think so, yeah. I mean, there's no reason really not to. Uh, let's get rid of a mountain, since we really don't need any major mountains. And let's just throw these out here. Basically, that just deck thins us, so that way if we draw like a Vorinclex, as an example, we can like really, really shut them down. <laughs> like, 100% they got nothing going on. Um, but, so we can emblem this next turn. Um, we've already emblemed this. We can keep embleming here, and we'll probably just plus up here. Um, that's fine. They're playing Pacifism? Uh, what a silly, interesting deck this is. Uh, this is a very, like, I don't think strong strategy. Not that ours is, don't get me wrong. If you're trying to rank on the ladder, this is not a good way to go. However, uh, I do think that we've got a very, very strong game plan against them. Uh, simply because Gideon of the Trials, like, really shuts them down. Wow, and there is a separate Gideon. That's very, very good. Uh, we could technically keep embleming, uh, on Gideon, but obviously we need to shut this down so uh your so we're gonna do this that's gonna put us up to five uh we're definitely gonna do this which is gonna put us up to six uh which is extraordinarily good uh let's go ahead and throw a little thopter out let's go ahead and play you let's watley uh and we're gonna plus up watley here uh get her up to six so next turn will be after we plus, we'll be able to uh, to then emblem again on the next turn. So we're up to six right now. This is a really good deck. Death's Ace, I'm into it. You built a very cool deck, specifically against this deck, but I'm into it. <laughs> they murdered? <laughs> wow, really? Um, that's interesting. Uh, does this have Vigilance? It doesn't. So they do have to choose to only untap two permanents, right? Yeah. Uh, but this does untap it, so that makes sense. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, well, first things first, let's spit out a little Thopter boy. Uh, let's go ahead and emblem one more time there. That puts us up to seven, uh, which is really good, guys. Like, we're we're kind of getting where we need to be with this. I like it. Uh, let's throw this out here. Uh, and again, I'm just kind of roiling regrowth. Uh, this isn't a super exciting play by any means, but um, it does get us some more deck thinning out of the way here uh and we can now just like kill some stuff with chandra if we want but again we're here for emblems guys we're at seven right now which is really solid um really really solid actually i'm very happy with this death's ace man you put together a sick deck um also while we're kind of in this loop of perpetual uh we have to create emblems um I just wanted to to mention, uh, if anybody was wondering, I don't know if you are, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, Bachelor Weekend was amazing. Will is my best man. He was uh, phenomenal in planning a really, really fun trip. We went to the mountains. We had a great time. Um, we, uh, we drank a good bit, but uh, we really had a fun time. It was great. We had poker night. We had cigars. We had the whole nine. 
Uh, it was great. I, I absolutely loved it. Had a fantastic time. Uh, had a number of other friends there, of course, from the wedding party. And like, dude, it was it was sick. Uh, we had a great time. Really, really fun to see everybody, too. Like I you're reminded at how fortunate you are, uh, is what I will say. You know what? No, I can't do this in good faith. We we can emblem more and we should. Um, so we're going to. Uh, there's another emblem. There's another emblem. Uh, let's spit out one of you. Uh, yeah, I'd love to draw a card. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, I am going to play this out because why not? Um, we want to keep this one so we can blank this. Okay, so we're at nine. Uh, that's really solid. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. We're at ten. Pardon me. Pardon me, Death Ace. I got you. Um, I'm going to just say no attacks because they're just going to die to these emblems at some point. Um, these emblems, we have Chandra at 18. <laughs> like, that is ridiculous. Um, if they don't concede, we could get a lot more, but this is 100% based on if they don't, they don't concede, excuse me. Um, and I really hope they don't. That is fine. <laughs> We do not need to cast any more spells. Very curious that they keep attacking with this. Like, I get they're putting counters on it, so I guess they have to. Um, but it just it doesn't do anything, so it's like... You don't have anything to... Uh, I mean, I get it. It's the right thing to do. Don't get me wrong, because it does put more counters on and that kind of thing. Uh, and that way the Ozolith gets triggered, theoretically, at some point. But, um, yeah, we... Uh, we did a thing. We did a real good thing. <laughs> uh, Death Ace, man. Coming in strong. I like it. Uh, this is a very strong start, honestly. It's difficult because, like, creating emblems is not an easy thing to do. So we're talking, like, it can be extraordinarily difficult to, to make this work. So I'm very, very thrilled to see this actually happening. Okay. Um, that's 11. Uh, that's 12. Um, and this is 13. Um, and no attacks. Sure. Why not? All right, so that's 13. That's super solid. Uh, and they will just die this turn because of these. So that's going to be it for game two, guys. We did it. Uh, wow. Okay, 13. That is a strong number. Let's go ahead and jump into game three, Death Ace. Let's see how you do. All right, guys, here we are for our third and final game with Death Ace List. And I do think this is a keep. The blue is a little awkward, but if we can draw a blue, uh, we're actually in pretty good shape because this Flex Channeler does a lot of work in a, in a list like this. So uh, we will see. We're going to obviously lead on the Temple Garden, though. Uh, avoid that two damage as much as possible. We don't know what we're up against. It looks like life gain, um, which is semi scary. Uh, this life gain deck tends to, on turn three or four, really, really go crazy. That Dawn of Hope is actually a little safer than it could be. Um, sometimes they like play something turn two, and you're just like, "crap!" Like we're we're screwed. Um, but thankfully, not this time. That's very, very good. We also got our fourth land, which means a Johnny is going to be coming into play here, uh, and potentially even allow us to attack in with this Mila, which could be really, really nice. Uh, okay, a Johnny's welcome and a speaker. Perfectly fine. Um, not good for us. This speaker is definitely a bad news kind of situation, but uh, this is great. So let's do this. Let's throw this out there. Let's go ahead and gain three. Um, and because we do have vigilance here, we can attack in safely. Um, Perfect. Uh, and we do need to keep this life total at bay as best we can. That's going to be a very, very tricky thing for us to do, but we're going to try it. We're going to try it. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay, so let's see. Uh, such a good card, Adani the Great Hearted. I love it. Um, okay, so we can Flux Channeler uh, or we can Lithoform Engine. All of these seem really, really good. We could also just ramp, uh, which is probably worthwhile, to be brutally honest. Let's gain three. Let's cultivate. Uh, let's get a blue source, because we do need a second, and we need a red source. So uh, let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, we get to play a land, and we do get to attack in again. 
uh, which is fantastic. Um, get him down to 19. If we can keep him below that 20 mark, I'll feel relatively safe. It's very tricky, though. This anointed procession is going to, to prove challenging, uh, obviously, because if they just have any amount of tokens, we're, we're in a bad position. So uh, let's do this. Um, let's do this. They're going to create a token. That's fine. Uh, they're gaining a ton of life in that process, which is obviously scary. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. So we can do this, which is going to at least stop the life gain, which I think is worthwhile. We can also do this, which is going to get us to the point where, again, we can safely attack. Um, they're going to block here. That's fine. But what we're trying to do is keep them from gaining life every single time. They're going to be able to replay this Soul Warden, which is not great for us. Wow, okay. That's a little scary. Um, sure. What the heck? Um, okay, well, that escalated very, very quickly. Um, <laughs> what do we do? Uh, we can copy some abilities here. Uh, that doesn't seem necessarily great, though. Um, hmm. We're in a tricky position, my friend. Tricky, tricky. Uh, okay, so we can play this. We can then proliferate if we'd like. Uh, which is very good given we've got so much stuff here. Um, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. That does not mean we can activate the Lithoform engine. Um, but I think that's still probably okay. Let's do this. <clears throat> Submit these three. Um, let's, like, I feel like we have to return something. We really need a, well, even Doomscar doesn't do it, does it? Um, God, this is terrible. Uh, we're going to shoot that back. Um, we're going to do this. Uh, and I'm not going to attack because they can just double block here. Uh, they can also just activate speaker. We might just be dead this game, Death <laughs> Uh This is a really interesting uh, deck that they're playing, though. They're playing Crested Sunmare, which is just a, a card I hadn't seen in such a long time. It's not a bad card by any means. It's just like, wow, where did that even come from? Um, very cool, though. I'm into it. So we're going to double up on Jace. Uh, what, it, what, 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 sorry, I forgot about that. Um, I just want to put a little together on each Planeswalker you control. I see, okay. Um, <sighs> hmm. I really want to save this, but we, I don't think should. Uh, so I think we're just going to pass. They're going to get two more horses, and most likely we're just, like, dead next turn. <laughs> uh, that's not very helpful, obviously. Um, wow. I really wish we could do a little more here, but I just don't think we can. Um, hmm. I mean, we're just dead. They just have so much power. Like, I, I just don't think that there's anything we could do. Um, we might have been able to get an emblem, but truthfully, there's no way in the world we could have gotten 13 against this list. Um, so I don't see this as a loss so much as a, like, we... There was never a chance of us winning, I don't think. Uh, not winning, but getting emblems. Like, they are way too fast for us. Um, and they're just going to start attacking in here. We'll draw. Hair in my mouth. Blech. We'll draw one more card. We'll see what happens. But um, truthfully, there's just no way. Uh, they're attacking us with these, so we'll block one of them. Yep. Uh, so next turn, we're just super dead, right? They gain even more life. Uh, <laughs> 
It is a really interesting version of life gain, honestly. I'm kind of into it. I kind of like it. Uh, and we've just drawn land, so I'm going to go ahead and concede. We'll go ahead and jump into a summary as well. All right, Desse, so let's recap very, very quickly. Obviously, game one and game three, we didn't get any emblems. However, in game two, you put up a very, very strong start with 13. 13 is a really high number of emblems. Like, let me just be clear. So Desse is very, very well done. I'm very excited to see the rest of the decks at work this week. We've got some interesting ones. We've got a couple that are like questionable, definitely questionable, but if they do work, they're gonna be amazing. So we're gonna do the best we can. Guys, again, if you want to submit a list for this, uh, these challenge weeks, you can do so via our Discord. You can check out that link down below. Also, if you would like to support us on Patreon, we really do appreciate it. I don't like spouting off about this too much, but if you do uh, enjoy our content and you wanna support us monetarily, that is the way to do so. Again, link down below please don't feel like you have to but we do send out very very cool monthly proxies for you guys as a uh, little thank you for for supporting us so please do check out all the links below uh and again guys thank you so much for putting these decks together and being a really awesome part of our community we really do appreciate it we'll see you hopefully on wednesday uh i don't know what day this is going up but we'll see we'll see you guys on wednesday for part two of challenge week